This building has actually been about three years worth, uh, two years of construction, about a year's worth of planning. Um, and we're just excited to opening it up to about 682 residents this week. And uh, we've been on the books for quite some time, and we're glad to be able to kick it off because it's part of a long-term plan to really transform the campus housing. Well, as we look at the journey to being a top 25 institution, we really started looking at our facilities have been are outdated. And while we've done a very good job of maintaining our current facilities, also student demands change over time. This will allow us to integrate living and learning a little bit more tightly interwoven to one another. There's lots of common space, study space throughout this building that a number of students can share. Um, and that's what really led to our decision that it was time to really upgrade our campus housing. When they walk in, they'll see a little bit more space in the rooms. Um, I joked earlier that these are probably the bigger closets that you're going to see, and that's really one of the criticisms we hear. All these closets are so small, but they're larger closets. There's more community space. What we're trying to do is we, if we can get students to get engaged with one another, get more connected, then we know that by providing that support mechanism for each other, they're likely to be more feel a part of the campus. And we know that that has ripple effects as when you're looking at overall retention rates.